Hi guys, in a previous video we covered the while loop and in a nutshell the while loop functions in this manner you have here while and then a condition and as long as this condition is true the, cont the, 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 the loop gets executed and it goes on, it loops on until this condition is false and in our previous video we had, we had the user input his age and as long as it didn't input minus one the loop went on. Right. Now in this video, we're going to cover the do while loop. Now, do while and while sound very similar, but they have a slight difference between themselves. And before going to the do while, let's modify, slightly modify our program here. And let's initialize minus uh, user age to minus one. Save it. And let me compile. Now, before compiling, let's go through the code and let's see what's going on here. I have set user age to minus one. Okay, this statement gets printed. Now here we come to the while loop. User age in this case does not fulfill the condition anymore because user age has been set to minus one and the condition demands that user age is bigger or equal to zero, which it isn't. Thus, this loop will not get executed. So the next step after printing this statement, what a program will do is print this and that's it. The whole loop will get by bypassed. And let's try it out. Let's, let me just... Um, did I save it? Let's compile it, GCC, and let's call the target while, and the source code is do while dot c, right? So it's compiled, and now let's run while dot exit, and you see here just the two statements got uh, got uh, the two lines got executed got run or executed and the loop got completely bypassed why because from the start user age does not fulfill the condition placed by the while loop now do while is similar to while in that let me comment this stuff up so it starts off with do and the while comes right at the bottom of the uh, loop body so what happens here is the following user age is still initialized to minus one now do you got the keyword do and then this gets executed and only after it gets executed is the condition checked whether user age is big or equal to zero so th that's the main uh, advantage of the do while loop that the, with the do while, the body of the loop is executed at least once before the condition is checked. Whereas with the while, it does. It mean if you fail, if the condition fails or the condition is false, the while loop doesn't get executed. Period. With the do while, you get one run, one iteration, at least one iteration, regardless how the uh, condition is, and then the condition is checked. And you can see here, even though, let me save that. Even though the condition is is not fulfilled because user age is minus one this loop gets run and only then will the user age be checked and the other thing is in our loop we or basically the user can enter the user age so basically this loop will get executed and then depending what the user age what the user inputs this loop can be extended or terminated so let's compile that uh, gcc and let's call the target do while and source code is still the same right now let's execute do while and you see here we are now in the loop it demands our age now i can decide you know i can put a, a legitimate age uh, okay, I'm a minor. I can put another legitimate age or I can just terminate the whole thing. So here you can see the difference that regardless of the initial condition, the do while will execute at least one iteration. Now, uh, which one is better, while or do while? Well, that depends on how you build your program. Now, if you, if you, if you say, okay, I wish to initialize my variable user age to minus one because no user has input any age hence user age is invalid hence it is minus one you can start off like that and then the next question is do you want this loop to execute or not if you say yes i do well then do while is your candidate if you say no i, I don't well because then 
because if you initialize your age and you run the while loop, this loop will never run because there's no way for a user to input his age because you've initialized it to, a, to an invalid condition. So you see, it depends how you run your program. If you wish to initialize your variables, or in this case, if you wish to initialize user age to minus one, then a while loop will not work because it will always fail. It will, the condition is always going to be false. You will never enter the while loop. Then in this case, if you initialize your variables like this to minus one, then you need to do while loop. If on the other hand, you say, you know, I'm, I'm going to create my variable user age, but I'm not going to initialize it. Well, then you can use the while loop. Then it doesn't matter. But there you can see the difference and the nuances of, of you know, choosing the right loop. But now you've got like three, three types of loops. You've got the while loop, you've got the for loop, and the for loop we saw is completely not suitable to our application here. So the question is, which one do you choose? The do while or the while loop? You see, and that's always depends on, you know, the way you are going to be building your program.